All right, so it's the Miami Hurricanes going up against Georgia Tech up in Atlanta. And the Hurricanes held on after making this comeback against Georgia Tech in a really brilliant third quarter that they have went in, in this game. We're going to start off with the Hurricanes box score because they are the road team in this one. That's Alta Curry with six points with three field goals. She has five rebounds. Then Williams with nine points with four for eight in field goals with one uh, free throw made. She has two rebounds, two assists, two steals. Then Roberts with 14 points with six for 10 in field goals, two for three in free throws. She has five rebounds, one assist, and a steal. Day Wilson getting better every game. 17 points, 36 minutes played. Two for, th two for six and three pointers, five for 11. Five for six in free throws. She has four rebounds, three assists. And then Patrick with six points with two field goals, two free throws. She has seven rebounds, two assists, one steal on the block. Um, then now we go to uh, Georgia Tech with Blackshear with 13 points with five or six in field goals, three for four in free throws. She has nine rebounds, almost a double-double, and a block. Nagiro, um with four points with one with field goal with two for... Three free throws. She has seven rebounds, two assists. Dunn with six points with two field goals. Two for 14. 0 for 8 and three pointers. I mean, that, that's just an off not off day for her. Two for four in free throws. She has five rebounds, two assists, two steals. Johnson with three points just off the three pointer, but she also has two rebounds, two assists, and three steals. But their best player of the night is Tony Morgan with 24 points, two three pointers. Uh, 8 for 14 in field goals, 6 for 7 in free throws. She has 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. And then off the bench, you got, um, for them, you got Ross August, August 90. I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. 10 points, 2 three points, 4 for 10 in field goals, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. So in the first quarter, it's been a roughly a, roughly a close one. Starts off with the free throws. And there's a there's a black shear layup, alternate with a layup, and then alternate with another layup that ties it up. Then there's a three point made by Tony Morgan with three pointer. There's a free throws are made, black shear with the layup, Roberts with another layup, Morgan with the layup as well. Georgia Tech still have the lead at this point. There's a free throw there. Um, Augustin 90, I can't pronounce it. Three pointer is made. Latasha Latimer with the three pointer there. We're down by two still, and that shall that shall remain like that for the rest of the first quarter. As the rest of the first quarter ends 12 to 14, Georgia Tech favor. In the second quarter, Georgia Tech made, made some adjustments and then they have and they played good basketball. It starts off with the free throws, then Blackshear with the layup jumper there um, by, uh, by, by August D90. Uh, Blackshear with layup there, now it's 22 14, we're down by eight. Williams with the layup, Johnson with the three point, now we're down by nine. Great. Jasmine Roberts with the layup. Then there's our official timeout. We're down by seven. Then another jumper by Williams with now down by five. Then Tony Morgan had to ruin it with the layup. Great. Then Dave Wilson with the jumper. Tony Morgan with the jumper. Just training shots. And halftime score wind up being 29-22. Uh, Georgia Tech lead. Now we're down by seven. I don't know what transpired in the halftime talk, but it worked big time. Because in the third quarter, it's been relatively all Miami Hurricanes scoring 27 points, outscoring Georgia Tech by 12. Uh, Patrick with the layup, Blackshear with the jumper, Patrick with the lay with the jumper. Uh, there's a free throw. Jay Wilson, then Jay Wilson makes his jumper. There's a free throws by Robert. August Nate with the layup. Um, there's more free throws being made, and Jay Wilson would tie the game up with the three pointer. Uh, Noguero with the jumper to get ahead for Georgia Tech, but Day Wilson, it, Day Wilson shines in the third quarter as she scores another three pointer. Uh, Tony Morgan would come back would would score this three pointer. Roberts with the jumper that ties it up. There's a free throw. Not much to say about it. Roberts takes the lead finally for the Hurricanes, and then another jumper made by Day Wilson. Uh, Tony Morgan with the layup, plus the end one, so that ties the game. But Jalea Williams with the with the jumper herself plus the end one. Now we're up by three at this point. Then Jalea Williams with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. She makes this layup 49-44. That will end the third quarter. 
by five points. So brilliant stuff there to make this comeback. Then the fourth quarter, Spearman, which starts off with the land. Now we're down by, I mean, we're up by seven at this point. Nope. So there's a lot of shots that are keep being missed. So there's a cold streak going up, up until 6.58 left of the game. Spearman would finally break the score, uh, cold streak with a layup. Then Tony Moore with the layup. Another cold streak. Blackshear makes this free throw. Then Cara, Cara Dunn with the, with the shot. Tony Morgan with the layup. Now George Tech starting to make some shots. Miami calls timeout. And then Roberts makes this jumper. Now we're up by four. And then Roberts with another jumper. Black, uh, Blackshear's free throws. Spearman with the layup. Up by six at this point. There's, and then free throws being made for um, for these next possessions because of these fouls. Kara done with the layup. They're still trying to make this comeback. Day Wilson shoot, makes a... Makes the first free throw, then misses the second one. Then August Deontay with the three-pointer. And that would end this game. 62-60, Miami makes this comeback. And wins this against Georgia Tech. What a nice victory this was to try to try to get back up in the ACC. And passing um, Georgia Tech as we look forward. Uh, see what's going on next. When we look at the team stats, you, you see Hurricanes field goal percentage is better. Uh, three point three point possessions for both sides is actually that's absolute disaster. Only three only three pointer three three pointers were made by the Hurricanes uh, today, and Georgia Tech only makes five out of twenty seven. But yet the Hurricanes has more three point possession uh, percentage, probably because they shot less than how much Georgia Tech has shot free throws. Definitely Georgia Tech's. They had um it, we both. Both of the teams made uh, attempted 18, but Georgia Tech uh, made more, uh, so they have 72.2. We have one more rebound than they do. They have more assists than we do. The steals even out. The blocks even out. Turnovers, we have one more turnover, but um, either way, um, multiple fouls were called. That's hence it. But yet, we still win this. We still win this one at least, and uh, our the, her, the Lady Canes. Next opponent is against Syracuse. They're number 23 in the nation. But considering considering this, they're at home. There might be a huge chance we might pull this off. And this and this one makes this win even more special. This is on a road in Atlanta. So this is a big this is a big plus. And then we're and then this team is on a two-game winning streak going off the loss from Florida State last week. So either way, the next game is against Syracuse on Thursday, 6 o'clock. That's gonna be an ACC Network Extra. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video, folks. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content because Miami teams you guys are back. And when he does, hit the right there with your favorite entertainment you deserve. Coming right next is the Heat recap, and I'm all finished for today. And then we can watch the Super Bowl if you are wanting to, if that's what your desire is. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. And I'll see you guys in the, in the Heat video. Good night, everybody.